Time for Milo Murphy Vlog Day 2 of Week 2. Today I got coded Time Out, written by Scott Peterkin. Oh boy, I got to give a quarter of a kind of do. I got, we're not thinking about what a review or getting anything else. So for one, I'm kind of spoiler warning on this one because we kind of basically pushing start for Yarko the show and basically reviewing some big things, so it's like, although, because it's and it could be like midway, far enough to where they can spoil But, but I guess Pike came a big compliant, so. Well, first of all, start out with Milo and Dad and Gak and his dad. They're going on a fishing trip, and you could probably get. And that Dad is not believing bad luck or everything going off, so you could probably get where they going. Meanwhile, the potassium protector and gum. Vinny Pearl and Balfour Cavendish. I'm gonna call him Cavendish. I'm gonna call him Dan. I can't. Copy the nail tell you about love of black back is one in Dan. Again, that kind of way will think. Anyway, um, so they're doing this thing again, and and um, and the first interesting thing of Ape up in a mile, and they make typically, hey, you're the guy from the Dunning Hill premiere and the opera. They're good kind of way, so. No, but typically, it's typically after the World episode, so. Um. I'm up in them, and basically, we got, basically, official confirmation, right, but here, officially confirmed they are from the future, and they're here to protect Pentashio. Again, that's not point pointed out, into that, and that damn hot pants reveal that, the kind of two, and that can point out, saying that, reveal for Regan, but I'm gonna get into it, Regan. Um, the part of this one kind of a little loose, because this one, big more specifically about the Pentashio protector, again, going into you know, how we feel about what we're doing and what we're doing, and yeah, it's, again, playing it with Titus. But it's a little loose plot up, so like, you can find one. And combine more so because it's like, you know, but coming in compass by the end. <laughs> but basically, they, um, the batting run out on their time thing, and they had to act to fellow time travel agents who are uh, Cavana and Brick. Oof, wait, but I mean, not some other guy who wanted to eat a shield. <laughs> um, no, for help, and they are, they are top agent skin, they are way better than them, and that makes one jelly. So, again, the plot, because, like, the, the part where it seems like I'm gonna get to a bigger plot, but then they kind of just reverse that, you know, but I don't like that. Okay, well, we get stuff in the game called Adjective Stuff Milo. I feel like that's their bad thing out. I feel like it's like they're too, like, well, we can't have Mama's gone without Milo and Murphy, so we gotta have something with them. And there's some good jokes in there, and how we interact. Like, what part of the fish are gonna go, is fresh water? It better not look up and find out that Doug playing fresh water. Don't repeat a turkey situation, you know? But hope, but they can be doing better at research on the show. Go so all the fact they mentioned after Deca Mathlon, can better than that. Go one looked it up and most of them are true. Go good on them for doing their research. Um turn around. We all could do our repeat look about time with a very uh, dinosaur mess up. Go. So, yeah, yeah, comes blue to that too when what the up because undergrounders when they're in the um, yeah, plate going to get John coming back when I am in the background and most of them are true, or like the better than Finico. Oh, but doing better at research. <laughs> Go, go, it can't be, we can't talk about our time before I went by, I don't care about that, but the children do love them, they, they get, I think it's time to point to the conveyor, because, and there's no kind of good joke of them, um, again, I like uh, the closest thing, good, like, it's going, every time they point out the first first thing, but it's so funny, so they just get good interactions, um, yeah, <laughs> man, I don't know what to care about. I can't just want to talk about the part, but. Well, you can. The, um, uh, Elliot will crack guard come back for a brief cameo. That's cool. Um, I don't even get anything, but he's there. Um, but, but yeah, uh, I raw do really like this one, by the way. Uh, but, um, more for the intent of adding how much fun it is when the plot, which was more Luke could give more about. Explain who they are going to, aka laying everything out. Everything else, we do our plot we got, we could probably gleam. And in, um, the FTA got, we kind of baking cave on the feature and 
Now, this is one basically is there to tell Yonk, okay, here what the Pentagon, this is what they've been up to the whole time. And uh, this is their deal. And then they team, they have a little cliffhanger, actually. Which I'm definitely gonna. Uh, apparently, we have a. I already know that, actually. I don't care which one. If it is, isn't it? Yeah, they appear in tomorrow's episode. I don't know how much I caught up of them. <laughs> so, I don't know how much they're gonna be in the episode for just that one clip. Um, but, um, they're there. So, I guess, but uh, I just really like the interaction, got off like stuff. Of, I like seeing what happened, going on with them, and it's gonna be like, pretty fun. And we can give our boss and win some Mark Hamill. <laughs> but, is he ever been in Yeah. Now you want Thorog up who you can be about to appear. And he's great. From what will we see, he's fun. Though so, I do wonder how uh, well once we get more to with potential, I'm sure we're gonna appear a lot more. There. We can still look cool. Yeah, but um yeah, it's yeah, kind of a pretty interesting fun up but now I had to talk about the more part, so it's not easy. You think we have tough high reference and layer up and okay, go okay. Not the big point, but still, I figured I have more people right now, okay. So, first of all, okay, for, okay, for simple reason, they are protecting Pistachio, get protecting Pistachio, do we have for that? I got protected Pistachio, do go think to 2085, apparently. Um, and they are given, and apparently, we got going so bad with them that they're giving the inconsequential kind of match while protecting Pistachio because the boss happened to like them. That's the reason the boss likes them, and they even don't even like doing it. They want to get up on the ladder, but unfortunately, they keep mecking up. You can guess who leads to it mecking up a lot of the time. Yeah, they're, they're hinting that early on. But we haven't even predicted that, like, especially after that bit in Family Vacation, we're like, okay, at this point, we're seeing all of the thing that's stopping them every time. And then, back to the confirm, get, I'll get more in a minute. Um, but that's the interesting part, and that part, we need to do a point for them. It's like, they're, they're trying, but they're just going back to their, their job, and, and they won't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I like what part. I can't like the COVID. I can't know who hit who who. I'm just gonna call him Dan Clompy. Um, Clompy, he, um, you know, something like, and they get, and they trapped a partner of Van Dan like, hey, I'm right here. <laughs> they confirm for a gate. <laughs> or, uh, uh, what part, um, Dan, he has gone. Cavana, oh, I sh I'm trying to make fun of that whole situation from the opera episode, but I couldn't say it without fucking it up. But, you know, but there better not be that king guy named, of course. And I said, too. <laughs> Jokingly, maybe. But it's like, oh, uh, it's all good together. It's like, ah, uh, come on. But I don't get anyone to do for Monogram. There it is. <laughs> you and Monogram married, but we never call it wife. Or maybe she never get to. <laughs> yeah, there's a fear for you. <laughs> she, uh, maybe your own wife, like, watch with mom and chatter. <laughs> <laughs> and that one guy found one pregnant. Ugh. I'm <laughs> gonna figure it for you. But yeah, that. That's the big point of that. That. The intent of that video again. People find it be the big thing, though. No, no. Figure out they do it because the bot kind of like it. And, you know. Then they do. Uh, I'm gonna break pretty cool, by the way. They get good. I think my favorite. Oh, my favorite line. Okay, danger and uh, danger protecting uh, preventing World War Five. Well, World War Three and Four. You're welcome. <laughs> I made my favorite line. Mm. Looks like good that early on. Go. <laughs> Great. But then we come to the ending. You know? Um. All can. After all, cool. after all can done. They get back to like you know protect potassio get of course back going wrong and then. You pick me up, huh? Dan. Ugh. Can you go recon? I think. I don't know. I can't remember to get recon up by it. Sure. I made, I don't know, for Dan. You bring up the hay. That model Murphy kid had to be there when everything back up. You think, and then, of course, I'm like, nah. 
uh, but they've gotten go wrong, and then they go, huh, then they start to go, hey, wait a minute, they really can, they were about to be only there. And then, Floppy automatically assumes that he is a counter agent can specifically stop them. And then, this gives them, hey, our con our client can be unconsequential because we're getting a counter agent. And Mal Murphy, we will get you to do, do, do the end. Like, that, and that's how it ends with them finding out that Mal got to it and they figure that they are going to put a stop to him. Yep. And then, people assume that from the beginning that they are strictly talking Mal because he led to Bachelor going extinct. Um, and, um, no, it turns out they didn't even know, they didn't even figure it out at stopping it until now. We'll call it to go extinct. We don't win, but what? If we knew what, they could go directly to the cork and not just protect Rain and Potashio. But probably more reason for it, I don't know. <laughs> because I'm already doing skin. <laughs> but overall, yeah, we'll talk, um, yeah, again. And costume fashion patterns and skulls. Um, this one they talked about before. I'm sure people who are watching this over time and not reading anything online are probably going, Who have the guy and why? And that's important. They're like, Who are the guy and why are we getting to get dead in the plot? And then they come to reveal and got to think about them. So this guy kind of made them happy and go, Okay, that's why we're here. And now we have a connection to the main character. Again, I compare it directly to the Doof Perry stuff. Imagine if we come out, but we didn't have Perry and Think that we rarely just cut to him arguing layer, no relation, no direct link. And then we found out later the end. Uh, like, kinda like that. Although it's prepared to be funny, and you know, we go, we got it for funny. And I like that. Um <laughs> you know. But honestly, they're funny. And the and the cup could be more likable and give them a the different story. Go, so I don't really mind how weird they might be. And again they get it's not too out of place to have a kind of trouble with Martian Egg and considering you know, and they do interact. Then you have to interacted in that one great part I mentioned. Uh don't be up I've got a chance to really watch but Shank and Gar probably watched a lot of Josh Wolfie and never do skin core for nothing. I won't mind I won't mind doing a key and retrospective of the first show, I don't know, maybe on, on the blog, I go, I've been looking for a show to do that with, but I haven't ever really found anything. Yeah. <laughs> so, what can we do? I don't know. Maybe I'll do a vlog, like, we got first impression, you know? Like, I, 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 I just immediately had, I started, like, after just watching the episode, because I had to talk about it. And now we get a key different length of the episode. And, but, either way, that would be a pretty good one. Again, very good. Again, it's mostly because I like seeing all the stuff and there's a lot of good jokes with them. I won't call it great because the plot is cool. It's not a whole lot of plot going on. It's like, Cook, it, cook it's not the tightest. It's like, you never get like Barry for the thing, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, part you think could be bigger about the plot. I don't know, like, stop. Um, oh uh, well, I'm not good lighting, um, I, I like weird, um, um, but, you know, I feel like we're entertaining enough to make up for, and they're combined with stuff as well, that stuff is kind of weaker, but the only just because of course we have stuff, I'm cutting I'm like, oh, come on, but it's Mom Murphy Law, and it, they're still some good stuff, it's just kind of typical, not if I can add because after a while, if any stuff, and come up and come like, the feet stuff is the, you know, the typical weather and the rest stuff is really cool. I don't know, I don't know if I can, I hope that's gonna happen, I hope I can keep things up. Yeah. And that uh, case, there weren't really good for any plot, well, I'm a bit, and can go out there more time, we're like, eh, alright, you know. Um. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but, we'll have to be, and, 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 they can have to go before to kick it most. And well, I didn't like that much of Punk 2, but it felt pretty good. So, yeah, yeah, there you go. We finally know every, both, look, everything about them, really. Now we. I say a big come question I have, but that's for really going after a door, but just a weird thing, don't kick up at me. So now, for now, all we know about Tash Pattern should be fun. And who knows when that time. Maybe every time Pierre Fernand would be able to typically mention the fact that they're going after Milo. Like, I don't know. We do know at first, we, I'm going to think about the first half hour of the series will be either a team finale or an epic in general. 
going into becomes a more glamour dream. I'm assuming that the half hour will be more plot related and not just kind of random events that have to be longer. I guess what I'm saying is, for the most part, um, there you go, see what happened. Go time out, pretty dang, pretty fun, it was a pretty interesting episode. So, there you go. Mm. Mm. Go. Go to, uh, Tomorrow, tomorrow episode, and we're going to the moon. And that one sounds definitely simple fun. I would clip back on it. It's pretty funny. So, I shall see you tomorrow, and we go to the moon. Can you come in on? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's clip back on now if you can the episode. <laughs> but, I, but, anyway, I shall see you tomorrow for more of that. Goodbye.